Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Army has a requirement of nearly 814 mounted gun system. On 9th February 2023, the Army has released acceptance of necessity for the procurement case of 155 mm 52 caliber mounted gun system. Army is expecting a MGS with maximum combat weight of 30,000 kg, maximum range of 38 km and minimum range of 5 km in high angle. Based on this requirement of Indian Army, DRD along with Kalani Group has developed 155mm 52 caliber mounted gun system. It is based on BEML next generation 8x8 high mobility vehicle. As per reports from Jains, the trials of the MGS have been going on for some time now. The mobility and performance trials of MGS are complete. The standalone firing trials of the armored cabin is also complete. The MGS is ready to undergo strength of design trials. The DRDU has released a video of its achievement for the year 2023. In the video, DRDU has showcased the test and trials of many weapons, missiles, military platforms in which the mounted gun system is also one of them. It is the first video of the trial of mounted gun system and we could see how the system is able to auto load the ammunition to fire the artillery. Normally, six to eight soldiers are required to operate a towed artillery gun but with the MGS, this will be drastically reduced to just three crew members. In an interview to the Hindu business line, Baba Kalyani, the CMD of Kalyani Group has told that the orders for MGS will take seven years considering the current procurement cycle. Seven years for procurement of a product which is under a trial is not a good procurement policy which Ministry of Defense must look into. The MGS is not a luxury but need of an hour as in present warfare the need for quick deployment and shoot and scoot capability is much needed. Further, the 7 years timeline is too long in defense ecosystem where technology modernization is happening at rapid pace. Now talking about its features and specification, the high mobility vehicle of MGS has armored driver cabin which offers protection against bullets as well as blast. It can operate in all terrain and climatic condition. The truck is powered by 8-cylinder V-type air-cooled 4-stroke diesel engine. It can generate power of 325 kilowatt at a rate of 1800 rpm. The vehicle has credibility of 25 degrees. The armored cabin can host 7 soldiers including a driver, a commander, a gunner and a loader. The MGS features a 155 mm 52 caliber gun which is a version of DRDO Kalyani developed ATAX gun system. It will have an auto loader that can load a shell and a cartridge at any elevation of the barrel. It has shoot and scoot capability which is a much needed requirement in modern era warfare and saves the artillery from counter attack by quickly changing its position. The gun system has a maximum range of 45 km and maximum speed of 80 km per hour. The elevation angle of gun ranges from 0 degree to plus 72 degree. MGS has ammunition carrying capacity of 24 projectiles with an appropriate quantity of bimodular charge system. In burst mode, the gun can fire nearly 3 rounds in 30 seconds and in intense mode, it can fire 12 rounds in 3 minutes. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.